Hey guys, it's Mike Chen here in Hong Kong. You know, I feel like Hong Kong is really like the epicenter of McDonald's innovation. Many years ago, when the, when the touchscreen water system first came out, Hong Kong was one of the first places to get that, and it actually built like a like a 18 layer Big Mac or something using using that kiosk. And now there's supposed to be like a like a fancy schmancy sit down table service with silverware McDonald's. That's also here in Hong Kong. So what's up with that? Why is Hong Kong getting all the new McDonald's stuff? Although this came out a little bit ago, I still haven't tried it, so that's what I'm gonna go do today. All right, finally, time to eat. Ooh. Gonna create my own burger. Brioche. Well, accidentally pressed done. You could actually order one brioche and just check out. Lettuce, onions, tomatoes, get saucy. Mm. Ooh, tomato jalapeno relish. Truffle, sweet. Ooh, pineapples. And we'll just put a fried egg on that. Done. This is a 59 Hong Kong dollar burger. Brioche, beef, mozzarella, caramelized onions, fried egg. Pineapple. This is basically everything you need to have a healthy day, I think. Right here. You got your veggies, you got your fruits, you got your meat. Smoky McHot Wings. Sounds very exotic. Chocolate pie. Yes, please. Lemon ginger soda. If you go to the McCafe option, there's promotions. Oh, caramel popcorn frappe. Sure. Mango chicky mousse cake. Condensed milk and peanut butter toast. Rice, and you can get seasoning for your fries. I'm gonna get the Ito black garlic oil, tonkatsu, that sounds fancy. Thai hot and spicy sauce. So, my customized burger, lemon soda, chicken wings, chocolate pie, frappe, peanut butter toast, rice with the seasoning, hot sauce, milk tea. 200 Hong Kong dollars. Sit down, place my number on the table. They even have a little wireless charger here for my phone. Yay. Now, instead of standing by the counter waiting like you would typically do at any McDonald's, just sit here and wait. My order is going to span three trays. First tray, I got my milk tea. I got my ginger lemon soda. Smoky wings, fries, seasoning from my fries. Choco pie. Second tray, I got the toast. Little chick. This is the feature presentation. My customized Angus beef burger and this is where you get like real silverware you get like an actual serving board this is actually look more like the burger that appears in mcdonald commercials this is like the advertising burger i feel like there should be like a little scrunched up big mac right over here that represents like what the burger actually looks like i tell you what this burger smells fantastic look at it beautiful bun i can see the tomatoes not scrunched up the, the lettuce actually still looks like lettuce before it went through like a compressor Egg, fried egg. I think that's actually freshly fried. Oh, grilled pineapple. I think personally that's gonna be a great move. Grilled pineapple is sitting on top of the bun, so that nice sweet juice is kind of marinating the beef as we speak. And that patty is massive. This is a great looking burger. That's a third of a pound of beef patty. And this thing actually looks super juicy. Look at that, see that juice running down the bun? And the bun is really pretty. It's not damaged like a typical McDonald's burger bun. And it's all held together by this little flag pole here. Look at this, actual fresh ingredients. Real fried egg, real pineapple. Not only is the egg fried, it's borderline yolky and runny. But before we get to the burger, let's check out the other food items I got. This is the ginger lemon soda. So basically a Sprite with some lemon and some ginger, but actually, I mean, that's not too bad. I actually like the ginger essence. It makes this borderline feel like it's healthy for you. And you do get a lot of that ginger heat after every sip. So I do think they're actually using real ginger in here. The milk tea, we are in Hong Kong, gotta have some milk tea. Ah. They don't put any sugar here, I wasn't expecting that. Actually, I'm really happy they didn't because I got like a toast with condensed milk and peanut butter and I got basically a large cup of Sprite sitting there in a, in a frap. This thing actually has really good tea flavor. Hmm. This is crazy. Look at this. This is the caramel popcorn frappe. This thing will definitely take a year off your life. If a McDonald's frappe wasn't already sugary and sweet enough, they had a caramel popcorn and like a waffle call with more caramel popcorn inside. How do we even begin to eat this? I have no idea. Maybe take one. 
dip in that whipped cream. As much as I feel like this is a very overindulgence of sugar. Like seriously, this is a very creative way to, to make a sugary drink even, even more sugary. I gotta say, caramel popcorn and some whipped cream, it hits that guilty pleasure button that's in every one of us. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, I hate myself right now. I really hate myself right now. And this is crazy. Just a cold of caramel popcorn. How is this even allowed to happen? Screams my common sense, but the other part of me just told me to take a bite of this cone and dive my head into this drink. I think the only way to eat this is scoop some of this icy into my cone. Oh, please don't judge me right now. I can't control my own willpower. I made I just found a new great way to eat a McDonald's frappe. I think the other way, I'll probably just be crumble this up and just mix it all in there, but I like what I just did here. Plus, what I'm doing, you're also working a little bit, so 40 more calories. Oh, that's great. Favorite part of a cone, the end of it. French fries, to give you a little shake it back here. Throw the French fries in. The rest of the seasoning to the fries. Shake, shake it up. Oh yeah, that looks good. I really like the seasoning. Good stuff. I had these shake shake fries over in the Philippines. They really should do that everywhere. That's a brilliant idea. These are the smoky wings. Fried nicely. It's pretty crispy on the outside. Looks like it might have a little spice in here. These are not bad. A little spicy. I don't get any of the smoke though, but. This is a tasty, spicy chicken wing. All right, I know the seasoning packets for the fries, but what if we add it to the chicken? I'm gonna drop it back in the bag, throw in some of the shake shake powder, black garlic oil tonkatsu. Only got two wings, so I'm not gonna add that much. Ooh, look at that. Covered in that seasoning. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Why McDonald's not doing this everywhere, I have no idea. But this is pretty ingenious. I mean, this really transformed the chicken wing. Before it was just spicy, but now a little garlicky, a little porky. Mm. Guys, don't just use that Shake Shake seasoning for your fries, man. Add it to the chicken. <laughs> Yo, McDonald's, you should do this all over the place. But if you do utilize this idea, can you please name it the Mike Chicken Shake Shake? You know, like instead of Mike Chicken, like Mike, Mike, Mike Chicken? All right, we gotta get to the burger, otherwise it's, it's just dying. Oh, look at that. That looks like a quality burger. Each layer absolutely beautifully constructed. Look at the juice on this patty. Look at when I squeeze it, the pineapple juice just flows down over the burger like a, like a graceful, flavorful river of sweetness cascading down a perfectly constructed beefy cliff. Man, it looks good. I'm so excited to take a bite of their burger. Usually, I don't eat McDonald's. I'll try it in different countries to see what they're like. I mean, once I was on a long drive, I ate a two-day-old sandwich I was sitting in the back seat rather than stopping at a McDonald's. That's saying something. But this, this I'm excited about. That's actually a really good burger. I don't know if you guys remember, but there used to be the super old commercial with this guy named Fabio. It was a commercial for, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's McDonald's. I mean, the ingredients are fresh, caramelized onions, sweet. It's a little spicy from the sauce. The beef is great. Who's ever taken a bite of McDonald's and said that? Pineapple over the burger. I'm gonna taste the smokiness of the pineapple and the sweet juice combined with the juiciness of the burger. This is really, really satisfying. The egg too, perfectly fried. I mean, wow. It's been sitting there for about 10 minutes while I was talking about the other foods, and it's still incredibly juicy. I could eat another one of these bad boys. Wow, that pineapple. It's got a big mouthful of that. Mm, that was a great juicy, sweet grilled pineapple. And the chili sauce I put on the bottom of my burger, that's amazing as well. Only thing I think I should have added was, I wish it was something creamy in here to, to help along my vegetables. So maybe I should have got a little bit of mayo or maybe some Big Mac sauce. But that sweet and spicy sauce on the bottom of this burger, that's excellent. And you can actually taste the truffle, the truffle sauce that I added on this burger as well. I mean, it's not strong, but you can taste it now. More dessert, peanut butter. Condensed milk toast. I mean, this thing is just unapologetically bad for you. Simple, but it's mighty. Look at this, just a slab of peanut butter and condensed milk. Oh, wow. 
Doesn't even cut easy. That's why they give you a knife. Oh my God. All right, I, I just got my jaw workout done for the day. That was just borderline unchewable. I mean, it's been sitting on my plate for about 15 minutes while I was eating the burger, but at least it should be chewable, right? I'm convinced if you eat one of these every single day, you will have the most chiseled jawline. I mean, you're gonna have a gut, but you will have a chiseled jawline. Yeah, you should not get that. Maybe it's better like fresh out of the oven, but. The middle of the post, the supposed soft part. Oh, even that is hard to chew. Plus with the peanut butter. Oh wow, it's like grinding concrete. Flavor is good because peanut butter and condensed milk can't go wrong with that, but ah, oh, that texture. Okay, I'm really excited about this. The mango chicky mousse cake. That is pretty adorable. Usually chickens and McDonald's is fried and covered in chilies, but not this little guy. And for that, to give you a little dessert fork. Thank you, fine dining McDonald's. Look away now if you don't want to see a really cute chicken and destroy it. Bravo, McDonald's, pretty good. Smooth mango mousse on top of the lightest little layer of cake on the bottom. Oh man, this little chick. Sorry to have destroyed you, but you are absolutely delicious. Love the mango flavor. Thank God for my sugarless milk tea. Mm. Overall, dining experience in this McDonald's, really easy. They have ordering kiosks uh, all over the place. And yeah, grab a number, put it down, they bring your food. If you order their customized menu, like if you customize a burger or a salad or something, that's when they bring over the real silverware and serving trays and stuff. If you want to experience it, it's only after 6 p.m. And the burger I had, the customized burger, was the freshest, most nicely made McDonald's burger I've ever had. The ingredients are good, it's tasty, juicy. It was a darn good burger. And don't forget, if you get the Shake Shake fries and the chicken, use some of that seasoning on that chicken. It becomes a little better. All right, I think there's one more thing I need to do. I totally buried the choco pie beneath my, like, trash. I want to sincerely apologize to the choco pie. There was really no ill intent on my part. I just, I'll make it up to you. Oh. Oh, goodness. How could I have ever almost left you on the tray to be thrown into the garbage. Ah. That almost became one of my biggest food regrets in my life. Crusty, flaky, shell, melty, chocolate, cintro. Chocolate's not too sweet. I bring up this question after almost every single McDonald's video. How come we only have the one apple pie? I mean, I get it, it's as American as apple pie. I get that. But please, please, McDonald's, seriously. Can we, can we please bring this with the banana pie, with the pineapple pie, all your other pies in other countries, honestly, are so much better than our apple pie. Can we, can we please have one of these? Is that too much to ask? You don't know that you need this? I'm telling you, you need this. All right, but seriously, one more thing, one more thing to get. Sea salt and vanilla ice cream on a choco cone with little, little chocolate koalas. This is really good. Wow, I'm loving it. This is the best ice cream you guys created. It's adorable and it's delicious. A little sweet, slightly salty with a little chocolate shell. Only thing I wish I could have done, saved some of that choco pie and dipped it in this ice cream. <sighs> Next time. Now, I have to go back to the hotel, hit the gym, and work out for about four days to burn off the meal I just ate. But it was a very enjoyable McDonald's meal. And guys, that concludes my review of supposedly one of the fanciest McDonald's in the world here in Hong Kong. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.